Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Phil from Prodigy, and he has a really cool iPhone app that he's going to show us in just a couple seconds here. But it lets you control everything in the car, almost. I mean, pretty much if it is powered by electricity, you're going to be able to power it with uh, with your iPhone so, or iPod Touch. So let's show us what this baby does. So what we have is uh, it's called the Halo. This is our app right here. So I'll go in. This is the first screen you see. This is all of your, your vehicle controls from starting the car to unlocking the doors to say honking, honking the horn, turning on the headlights from there. So from the slideways shot, you can go in and go to your headlight control. You turn it on and you can get the feedback on the, uh, the phone that, uh, that you've got the headlights on or off. You go in to engine start. We don't have that connected on this car, but start the engine and it's gonna animate on the screen let you know that it's running. So from this screen, if you go back up, you hit our side menu and you can get into your suspension controls. This is where you have control if your hot rod has air suspension, air ride, or hydraulics. Just pop it up, drop it down, flip it sideways and you've got yourself a different view, sort of a, a game controller style. Drop each corner individually. Phil, can you tell us a little bit about the tech that um, makes this car work? Absolutely. It's uh, obviously it's a Bluetooth interface, so you've got. We're experiencing about a hundred to two hundred foot range uh, in this convention hall. Obviously, you've got, okay. You know, some variables uh, in the real world. Um, so everything's modular, you know. Okay. Not everyone has air suspension. Not everyone wants to start their car. So we keep everything uh, separate modules, so you can just daisy chain as many modules as you'd like uh, to to make the thing. Okay. As, uh, How as many modules can you, you like. put put in? Uh, well, the the technology maxes out at 120 some odd modules. Okay. So if you have that many things you need to to power in the car, I, I guess we'll have to sell you two separate kits. And, right. Okay. <laughs> But uh, how much does each module cost? Like when you say a module, so one tire would be in one module? No, no. Actually, it's uh, each module has uh, eight outputs. Okay. Uh, and they're we're using uh, uh, solid state uh, power drivers. Okay. Uh, rather than the, the typical relays, we wanted a real fast response. We wanted something that was just uh, a very uh, reliable, yeah, uh, uh, clean power. Uh, so, like, the dashboard is considered one module. That's going to give you your locks, your trunk release, your, your horn honking, your okay. lights, and heater and, and radio controls and what okay. have you. Uh, the suspension, uh, an air suspension uses eight outputs. Okay. Uh, so we've got a module that has the, the eight powered outputs for controlling the suspension. Okay. Uh, remote start would be a separate module, uh, an add-on to the, the actual dashboard module. Okay. Uh, so the basic kit, which is your your Bluetooth receiver and then one module of your choice, uh, goes for three ninety five. Okay. And then each add-on module ranges in price anywhere from about a hundred bucks up to about two hundred. And where can you buy that right now? Uh, right now you can pre-order. We're uh, actually on our uh, our initial production run here. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's available at Prodigy.com. Okay. Uh, and, uh, when do you think you'll ship? You're, you're pre-ordering now. We're definitely going to have them in time for the uh, for the holidays. Gotta okay. Get them under people's trees. Yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, we're hoping to have uh, first production run well underway uh, by the end of this month. Okay. So. A lot of people that watch our blog have car computers. What opportunities are there if you're a programmer to take your hardware and technology and integrate it into a computer? Right now, we don't have it open, but we are exploring the possibility of. Uh, of Opening up the uh, the programming uh, right. for folks to, to kind of homebrew some of their own uh, their own tech into our hardware. Uh, so that is something that we hope to offer real real soon. Well, there's certainly a lot of developers, uh, both software and hardware engineers, that would love to get a hold of your stuff. So uh, keep us posted on uh, on how that goes. You know we will. Great product. Right on. Thanks Thank for taking the time much. to uh, to meet with us. Take it easy. And Thank thanks you. for watching our blog.